Hello peeps and welcome to the very first video of this new channel. You probably should have got an idea of what I'm gonna talk about today and that is how you can get Laka installed on your virtual box. Though the developers haven't yet allowed the virtualization of the operating system, but I figured out how you can get that done. So I've been searching for a solution about it on the internet since the Laka first came out but I couldn't find any satisfactory answer to it. What else could I do? I started experimenting on to my computer and in the process I even got all the data on my hard drive wiped completely wiped out. Hopefully you wouldn't have to experience that. That was the worst nightmare. I couldn't even save a single uh, piece of document at that time and I had to re-download every single stuff I had. So maybe that's enough talk and let's jump straight into the tutorial. I'm planning to make three videos on this series. The first one would cover how you can get a bootable disk of Laka, a bootable uh, pen drive of Laka, and on the second video I'll show you how you can boot into VirtualBox via that USB, bootable USB, and in the third video I'll show you how you can get your USB back. Because the process includes the software that is used to make the USB bootable and uh, what it does is that it repartitions the USB into two partitions one is for the operating system and the other one is left idly and you cannot access it by any means uh, so the third video is gonna contain the content about how you can get your USB back or how you can get uh, how you can repartition your USB so that everything works as it used to uh, so I think that is enough about the background and let's start the video, the first video that is about how you can make the bootable USB. So here we go. Uh, this is very obvious that you need some a couple of uh, softwares or the data already present on your computer. One of them includes the software that is gonna be used to make the USB bootable, and the other one is the Laka image file uh, that is you uh, that is what you are gonna boot onto the USB. So just go ahead in the description box and click on the get Laka link I provided or go to the Google and type get Laka. Hit the first link that comes up and you'll be gonna be presented by this screen right here. No, you're gonna select either one of these options in accordance with the operating system you are using right now. If you're using Linux, go ahead and click on this. If you're using Mac OS, click on this. If you are using Windows like me, go and click on that Windows button. After that, you're going to be presented by this screen, a list of hardware supported by the Laka. So uh, one thing I mentioned, you're never going to get the same uh, same results like me because uh, the Laka is still in their beta phase and there there no final release yet. So there are a ton of unsupported hardware. Maybe your hardware could be one of them. Don't just rely on this video. You it could be deceptive, or you could be, have the different results as me. So I'm gonna install it on VirtualBox. That is sort of simulation of the real PC. So I'm gonna download the PC image, download any one version of that. One is 32 bits, and the uh, other is 64 bits. If your CPU supports 64 bit software, go ahead and download the 64 bit uh, image file. If it doesn't, go and download the 32 bits file system and then hit the next step. Now I'm gonna provide the link to the software as well, but uh, if you uh, don't wanna go to the uh, description box, go ahead and click on the next step, then download the software and install it on your computer. After you've done with this, these steps, you're gonna go and open the software you just installed on your computer. This is the software that we are gonna use to make a USB bootable. Select the driver of your USB and you can get this uh, either by going to the, to your computer and looking at the driver of the uh, removal disk, removable disk or your pen drive. Go and select that. Hit this box here and select the downloaded Laka image file. I have that in the local disk D, I guess. The Windows. Now, 
the image you downloaded is in I guess dot gz extension and this is selected the image uh, extension with the image uh, extension but you can directly uh, use that file you don't have to uh, extract that you just go here click here now this is what this is gonna do is this is gonna show you each and every file all those supported or unsupported file systems so go and select Laka and hit right yes now I al I've already told you that uh, uh, this is gonna make repartition your USB and you're gonna you're gonna never gonna get your USB back until you follow those steps or you repartition your USB you're not gonna be able to get them back after you format them so you have to uh, repartition it or just use a spare USB of 1 GB or 500 megabytes maybe so after this is done this is not taking a long time you can see this is just going as fast as it can yeah now the ride is successful and it has made a USB bootable right here I already have the bootable USB and I rewrite the uh, USB the booted system files on the already bootable USB it doesn't matter I'm just here for the sake of convenience of you guys and I'm showing you how you can get it done it doesn't matter just go and make a USB bootable you can do it with other softwares but uh, Laka has recommended this software and I'm also gonna recommend you this because this is what Laka recommends and this is what I recommend <clears throat> so this is I guess enough for today's video and um, go ahead and check out the next video um, of the series where I'm going to show you how you can port into the virtual box via this USB because there is no way you can directly use that image to boot into the virtual machine I've tried to do that I've got an error that is why I <coughs> made the USB bootable and that, then I've booted into the virtual machine via this USB because I couldn't find any other way of doing this and I guess this is the way uh, I've been able to boot into the lacquer onto the virtual machine. So, thanks for watching this video. And now go and watch the next video. And don't curse me. I already told you that this is gonna make your USB nearly uh, useless. Uh, so, if you wanna get your USB back, go and here watch the third video. If you don't wanna install lacquer, that doesn't matter. But if you have done all this, showed in the Today in this video, go and watch the third video because this is, that is gonna be the only only way you can get your USB back. Thank you. Hit the subscribe button, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Goodbye.